conductivity and ionic compounds. Well, Dr. Ackerson is approaching uh, the test shed, if you will. Ooh, FMCP, freely moving charged particles. Anything with freely moving charged particles will conduct electricity. I see an ionic crystal lattice in the center there, and that seems to be about to be attached to a positive and a negative terminal of a power source. Maybe you'll use a battery or a regular power source in the lab. I'm using a massive power source. Positive ions here, negative ions there in the lattice. And if electricity flows, then these lights should come on, indicating a conductor. Alrighty, let's plug it in, attach the positive electrode there, and the negative electrode to the other side of the crystal lattice. This could be sodium chloride or potassium bromide. Pretty much anything that's made of a metal and a non-metal will be an ionic bond. You know, the solid does not conduct electricity. And the reason is, is it because it doesn't contain freely moving charged particles. The ionic solid, they're not freely moving those ions. They're locked in position. But, using my mind, I can heat up the solid now. If I heat up an ionic solid, and it has to be really hot because those bonds are really strong. Ooh, where did that go? Then the ions will actually split apart from the lattice and become a liquid. So you have, for example, liquid salt at very, very high temperatures to make that happen because the bonds are very, very strong. Now the negative ions are going to be attracted to the positive electrode. And when they get there, they're going to drop off electrons. So the negative ions drop electrons off at the positive electrode. And the positive ion, in red, receive electrons from the negative electrode. So if electrons are being dropped off at one side and received at the other, well, that's a circuit. Electricity is passing around the circuit. The lights come on. OK, ions are the charge carriers in the middle, but the circuit is complete. Let me turn the lights off for a minute. So liquefied or melted, same thing, ionic compounds conduct electricity. Well, there's another way you can cause ionic compounds to be freely moving charged particles, and that is to dissolve them in water. So if I was to shoot water at an ionic crystal, what will happen is it will also produce freely moving charged particles. You could think of dissolving salt in water. Salty water also conducts electricity. The red lights are still on. You just fix the electrodes here. So solid ionic compound is an insulator, doesn't conduct, but you can make it conduct electricity by melting it or dissolving it in water. Oh, I wonder what happens if I attach those electrodes to my power source. Let's see what happens. It looks like a huge antenna. What could go wrong? Dr. Atkinson fearlessly makes the circuit parallel. Oh, nothing. It's the color of bromine, red-brown. You need to know that. Oh, it looks quite safe. No problem. He survives another day. Not 